Have you heard about the new version of XUnit, XUnit V3? If not, you might want to subscribe to this channel because I will bring other videos on that because there's some features that I was waiting for them for a long time. They are awesome and there are things that I want to apply in my day to day. And one of them is a quick one that I want to show you today. Something that once you start using the version 3 of XUnit, you will be using everywhere. And let me explain you the scenario. So often we have code like this, code that tests an asynchronous method. For example, calling an API to post a given object. Or when you have something like a repository or a process manager or a service that has an asynchronous method and there the last parameter is a cancellation token. And sometimes that cancellation token is not optional, it's something that is mandatory. So you need to provide every single time a value to that. So we quite often rely on this technique of providing the default of the cancellation token. However, doing that and not doing anything is kind of like the same because there's no value on that default for the logic that we are testing, what is fair. So going back into the example of calling an API, you might have the parameter there, you might not, because it's optional. That's the most common pattern. And why do we deal with things this way? Because more often than not, we don't care about the cancellation token. We don't test the scenario of when I cancel the, the token. So we don't care, we provide the default or we don't provide anything. But there are some scenarios where we need to test that. And in those scenarios, we'll keep doing the same thing that we were used to do. That is using the token cancellation source and creating it and then canceling it and checking how the code reacted to that. But for those scenarios like those that you can see on the screen, we can now do something different with V3. Why? Think about the following scenario. You have a test that is going to an API and for example, is exporting data from the API, building a report, returning it back. You have a, a test that is going through an API, calling the API, posting some data. So then I go to another endpoint to check if the data is there. Some of those tests might take a long time. They might be something like an end-to-end -end test or an integration test that deals with a lot of pieces. So imagine the following, the tests go down. So the process that is running the tests is cancelled, for example. Do I need to keep locking that database that is being used for the sake of tests, for example, because of a test that has no value anymore? I don't think so. And that's why XUnit v3 brings a new way to work with the cancellation token. So now you can access the test context and you will have the cancellation token there. So every single time that you are doing something like providing the default, now you can replace that with this test context.current.cancellation token. What's the advantage? If you stop your tests from running while they are running, you stop them, you cancel them, you abort them, it will trigger the cancellation token in all the code that you can see that is being used. And since it's something that is behind an a sync task likely is using some resources that you want to protect. So it's a great idea to use the cancellation token. This is one more step to go towards that idea that I always talk about, that we should treat code that is testing the same way that we treat the code that is working in production. So we need to protect our test infrastructure in the same way that we protect our production infrastructure. So if you like this one, let me tell you that I have a video in collaboration with Nick Shapsas, and you can find that video linked on the top, where I list all the features that are coming in V3. So if you want to have a glance overview of what is available, you can go there. If you want something a bit more concrete on how to use those features in your tests, make sure you subscribe because the next video that is coming will be about it. And in meanwhile, I think you will like to watch this video right here and I will see you in the next one.